Hi family, Afria from Afro Life Wealth here bringing you another video. I hope you're well as am I, wishing you or bidding you a very good day and wishing you best of health. I'm glad to be back posting another video, checking in with you. Today I'm going to talk about these little things. These little things are what are known as rose hips. So let me just take one out for you. I hope the camera gets it. Rose hips. Now this little beauty is a, a fruit, I think, like a fruit pod. And you'll find this in your green spaces. Well, you should. That's where I found mine growing. And what they are, if I can just open one up, packed with a lot of goodness. Should have done one of these earlier. I wonder if you can see that. They've got these little seeds in. Now, you don't consume the seeds. I will post a better picture of this. As I said, you don't eat the seeds because they are quite disruptive to the system, particularly the stomach and the digestive system as a whole. And that's the tube that goes down and connects to the stomach and they can be quite damaging so because I think they're quite acidic or something they're, they're very grainy and can really not be good for for you to consume but the outer layer the rose hip itself like I said it's packed with a whole load of goodies lots of vitamins lots of minerals particularly vitamin a and vitamin c now why i like these is because they contain a real lot of vitamin c now if you don't know vitamin c is really good for producing collagen or maintaining collagen and uh if you know about collagen that's the main component for constructing our skin layers and helping to keep that elasticity within our skin quite strong so that the skin remains in its form and doesn't hang and get all wrinkly as well as that we need to hydrate the skin as well by drinking lots and lots of water um, eating a lot of electrolyte foods as well fruits and vegetables and they will maintain or help to maintain our health and our youth so I'm all about finding things from the earth natural produce natural foods and I tend to go foraging in my local spaces because you just never know what you might find I've been utilizing these spaces and finding so many goodies so many good great things and one of those great things are as I've said rose hips beautiful color look at that deep red you know and what you can do you can eat them as they are minus the seeds and also you can make rose hip oil now rose hip oil is becoming quite the rage because we have two celebrities in particular that have really you know made this headlines we have the duchess of cambridge known as kate and then we have another famous supermodel called miranda care and she was once married to Orlando Bloom and uh, they're making a whole heap of noise about how great rosehip oil is for the skin and they use it on their skin and now everyone's sort of just going and buying a whole load of rosehip oil and 
obviously because of that there's great demand the prices have risen and now you can get like a small bottle maybe say 50 not even 50 mils less than that maybe 20 mils for about 20 dollars but here with these you can make them yourself you can make it yourself so easily now I've got about a hundred grand so I wouldn't even need all of that maybe half the jar I would have this and then fill it up with oil now you can use sunflower oil or vegetable oil or olive oil any oil uh, plant-based oil that you have in your cupboard and then maybe half this jar and then fill the rest all the way up to the top with your oil your favorite oil and then obviously you place your jar on top and then you would put this hide it somewhere place it somewhere where it's dark and leave it in the dark for about two three weeks you might take it out every so often to give it a shake shake mix everything up and then put it away about two weeks two three weeks don't open the jar and then you'd have your nice rose hip oil all done for you no real expense DIY and then you can use that on your skin you can use it on your hair and that's really the skin your face it, it's good because it, it can keep the skin really supple and moist and help to keep it bright it's a great toner it's a great astringent so many great benefits to using rose hip oil and i haven't actually tried it myself but i will be i've been eating them and i love them they're just so they're kind of they're not so sweet they have a kind of sweet tinge but they're a little bit sour i mean some people don't like them but i i really enjoy them i just chop them up and put them in my cereal or just eat them as a whole as they are they're just they're just really great because you can just find them free and i just wanted to share my little piece of knowledge with you is there anything else oh yeah so we need vitamin c we need our vitamins and we need our minerals so if you had about this jar this is about 100 grams you would be, if you consumed this, all of this, you wouldn't have to consume it in one go, perhaps in the course of a week, you would be getting 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Now the, R, um, the RDA, the recommended daily amount, is about the minimum a thousand milligrams so you can obviously take more than that but a thousand milligrams so you're getting half your RDA just by consuming this and this is all free you don't even have to go and buy it it's here in mother nature growing wildly you just all you have to do is just find it and pick it yourself so that's just a bit of knowledge for you and I mean, look at that color, that's what you're consuming. You know, you're meant to eat uh, a rainbow of food. This definitely contributes to a rainbow. It's just about looking after yourself and doing what's necessary for yourself and to keep yourself healthy and well. And that's what I'm all about. And that's what I will be bringing you in the next couple of weeks, different things that I use and that I find and hopefully most of them will be free but if not they're going to be a minimal charge anyway a minimal um, payout that you know you won't have to really fork out too many pennies for so that's that's what I'm bringing you today and um, I hope I've given you a little bit of food for thought and please comment on my comment section if you've got any kind of things that you want to know about and hopefully I can bring you that information or just comment in general please like my video please turn on your notifications and enjoy the rest of your day so oops I got seeds flowing all over the place stay well stay happy and stay blessed.
this is me checking in checking out hope you have a wonderful day catch you later bye so here we are in the green space this is where you'll find rose hip growing this is my local space and you can see how beautiful they are just on their woody stem and they grow quite tall as well if we look down further down you see that they're really fawny so you have to be quite careful when you are harvesting the rose hip there's been many a time when I have caught my sleeve on those thorns and I've had to be really, really careful as well. It's just that beautiful redness from the rose hip, all that vitamin C that you're getting when you're consuming them.